I hope you're hungry. Now that we've made it through the rain, time to go back to Burgers in the Sun. We're looking into the secrets of the menu and the secrets behind the legend that is in and out so many people know about the in and out secret menu that it's pretty much an open secret. But even if you're a hardcore fast foodie who orders animal style every time, you might be surprised by what else you can get at in and out It was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished them well. I'm joined by Chef George Geary at the in and out Museum in Baldwin Park. He knows a bit about LA's legendary restaurants because he literally wrote the book on them and so many others. You have all this knowledge about in and out And I've never worked there. <laughs> Do they call you when they have uh, history questions? <laughs> they probably should. It was here that the Snyder family set up shop in October of 1948. This is just a replica of very humble beginnings. When do you think that there was this crossover between it being like a beloved local institution in Southern California to this kind of fanatical obsession? I'd say the 80s okay. started it. In her new book, current president and granddaughter of the founders, Lindsay Snyder, shares lots of secrets on and off the menu. Like how Animal Style was inspired by a group of teenagers who used to hang out in the parking lot. They always ordered their burgers with spread, grilled onions, extra pickles, and the patty itself grilled with mustard. Being the good journalists that we are, we decided to order a bunch of the secret menu items to see if it's worth your while. A fry well, a fry regular, a side, a lemon, a uh, half strawberry, half chocolate, a Neapolitan shake, and a 7-Up. Yeah. Your total will be $35.67 at the third $35! Only $35? This place, this place is incredible. Put it on Glenn Walker's tab. I want to break free. Look at this spread. I got my burger, double-double animal style, of course, but kicked it up a notch with sport peppers smashed into the patty. You can also get your burger medium rare, which will be pink on the inside, but still with lacy frilly edges. There's protein style with no bread, which leads us to the Flying Dutchman. Two pieces of cheese between two patties. You hear Flying Dutchman and you think, you, you think it's swashbuckling. Gonna... Yeah, this is the first time I've seen one. Yeah. So if the regular burger is a one by one, double double means two patties and cheese. You can ask for it all the way up to a four by four. And even if they make you that, you might need some assistance. You can get quarter burgers and half burgers. You can have them cut that way. And what is the secret for why your burger is always so consistent? They don't put it in and out in a location unless they can go within a day from their manufacturing plants. No freezers at in No heat lamps. No heat lamps, no freezers at in and out Fries do not get a lot of love at In-N-Out, but you can customize them. There's something called the light fry or two-minute fry, which are... They're, they're droopy. Soggy boys. Then there's lemon fries, where you squeeze a lemon on the fry. I like that. But the lemon fries aren't bad. Well done. My favorite. That's a way to do it. As for shakes, of course, you can mix vanilla chocolate side-by-side -side or a chocolate strawberry. This one is a Neapolitan. It's all three. You can technically make a float out of any of the soft drinks with the soft serve. Another secret they're proud to share, happy employees. They pay a lot more than anybody else in the industry. And I would love to have shared with you some more specifics about why and how the magic of In-N-Out works, but In-N-Out didn't respond to our request for an interview. Perhaps the real secrets will always be the stuff of legends. Glenn, thank you so much for settling up for us. We really appreciate that. Also, if you go to In-N-Out and try to trick them with the secret menu, good luck. They know you're coming from a mile away, and they kind of love this stuff. For more looks at restaurants and culture across Southern California, you can check out my Instagram, at AndyKTLA. Cheers. Uh, I cannot believe how hungry I am after watching that. I, uh, I'm going to have to maybe run down Sunset Boulevard here, grab a double-double.